best atmosphere in college football. I thought they were really incredible tonight. I noticed a lot more of them stuck around, probably due to the uh, little cooler weather. And uh, I think most of them started to exit after the lights in the fourth quarter. I know that was a big deal for a lot of them to be there for that. Created a great atmosphere for our guys. Uh, we continue to grow as a team. Um, we, we still got so much to work on. I thought our kids played really hard, but frustrating tight game. Um, I thought Manny did a good job early. Um, gave us some different looks defensively up front. Uh, played some bigger guys up front to try to control the run game. Um, thought the guys pushed through offensively as we sped up and did some things two minutes. Did a good job. Didn't stop the run real well defensively. They did some good things there and uh, definitely got to improve on that. But overall, I thought we did better on third down. Um, obviously, way too many penalties. Uh, but our, continue, our guys continue to grow and get better. Uh, and I'm excited to see where this team can go and uh, continue to get better from here. Questions? Kirby, your first five plays, offensive plays, were passes. And I think like eight of the first nine were passes. Is that because they were stacking the box in there, like you say? Was yeah, some of those were passes, some of those were runs, so you can't really go off that, to be honest. I mean, it was uh, RBOs, some of those. Kirby, when you see 560 total yards, and yet you also see all the penalties, um, was was the, was there ever a disruption in flow? Because it seems like, I don't know, when you look at those There's numbers. There's always a disruption in flow when you get penalties. I mean, you get 20 and give up 15. You get 10 and give up 5. It's like a constant war with ourselves to overcome things, which – Good football teams don't beat themselves, and uh, we obviously were trying to do all we could to beat ourselves tonight with some really stupid, undisciplined penalties, which we got to grow out of. Curry, the drive right before a halftime, go, go up, no huddle, hurry up. Just how big was that for the outcome of the game tonight? Well, I thought it created some momentum. I thought uh, Jake did a great job managing the clock. I mean, we think about it. In fact, we didn't have any timeouts because we burned all those. That uh, they did a good job managing it. And Function, but even again, situational football, we catch the ball in the first play of two minutes, don't get out of bounds. So these are little things that are going to come back to haunt us if we don't get better. Kirby, how's uh, um, Solomon um, doing now? I sure haven't heard anything on Solomon. I hopefully know something. Sunday or Monday, I haven't heard much. And it was Devontae Wyatt was had a Yeah, Devontae uh, had an injury in practice <coughs> the other day and was out for the game. Um, we hope he can be back this week. I think he'll be back. We'll find out more about that. Kind of like the momentum swing on the fourth and one stop at the 14 look like your uh, defense kind of changed the tide. It was a big play in the game. I mean, I think they, 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 were, they were aggressive to go for it. Um, we have not been a great short yards defense team. We struggled to, you know, stop people on third and one and two. And that's been a big emphasis for us defensively to improve on that. So we were able to call uh, one of our calls we put in for that situation. And I really couldn't tell you who made the play. I don't know who made the play, but it was a big play in the game. It was Jordan Davis. I, I, mean, he was in on it. I don't know that he made it because he was zero nose and they were blocking the zero nose. I definitely think he helped knock back the pile, but uh, I don't know that he made the play. What did you think about his play and, and how to put him in there? i got to watch it and see how he does. I mean, he continues to practice hard. He spends about 50% of his time on the scout team. Um, he plays in regular situations. He doesn't play in a lot of nickel spread situations. But he's a kid that if he continues to lose weight and work hard, you think he can be a good football player. And with Devontae out, he was forced a little more into action. But I was hurt judgment until I actually see the tape. He was also in on the last play of the game when they scored. Um, to uh, to uh, follow up on that that uh, drive at the end of the first half, I mean, do you feel like that kind of opened up the offense more to go into the second half? And you spoke about it being that point of momentum. I don't know if it opened it up. Everybody always says, well, why don't you just do that all the time? Well, they don't play the same defense all the time. You know, it's a two-minute drive, so if it was that easy, I think we could, we could do that all the time. I think Jake operates well from uh, pace of play, and I've been able to get the ball out. I also think it helps when the defense is a little worn down and you've been chopping wood for two quarters as opposed to starting the game like that. Um, but he operates well, and I think Justin operates well. Both of them do in the hurry-up mode. What's a 75-yard pass like that over the top of you to a defense? How important was it for your guys to I thought it was a huge catch by Terry. Good read by, by Jake. You know, they didn't get a lot of pressure. You know, everybody, everybody talks about protection. Our guys had really good protection on that play. I felt like Fromm held the ball for a long time. Terry made a great catch, and then the run after the catch was good. So uh, we worked hard on those big balls, and it's good to get rewarded on one on vertical down the field. How good was it to get him going, Terry, tonight, and have him have a game he did? Uh, Terry's working hard every day. I've seen him work like that every week, so I thought it was big for him to get that catch, to get over top and behind the defense. But I 
kind of see that in him every day in the back because he works that way. He, and what he did tonight, he blocked. I mean, he's got two really key blocks on James Cook's run and he steps out by a centimeter. And then on DeAndre Smith's, people don't give Terry enough credit. He gets his hands on people and he really drives them. He's a tough guy for a guy's side. He really plays hard, blocks well. What does it say about uh, 560 yards of offense when you lose another starter on your offensive line and uh, seem to be able to plug in and do okay? I don't know. I thought we could have played better. And uh, it's frustrating. Just, we didn't play our best game. And that's defense, offense, and special teams. Penalties continue to haunt us. And uh, it's a lot to overcome when you make silly, silly penalties. I mean, 560, that's great. Could it have been more? Maybe it could have been more. We, we, we we're yet to put a complete game together, and I don't know. We as coaches staff got to look ourselves in the mirror and say, what are we doing to not reach this team from a discipline standpoint, a uh, penalty discipline? It's tough. Kirby, you held them to under 100 yards in the second half after giving up over 200 in the first half. Did you think that the defense played better in the second half? And if so, what did you think they did better? Oh, well, we made some adjustments. We we we, we got guys. Doing their job, not worrying about making plays. And I mean, yeah, I, I can take you through every play in the first half that they made, and it was a breakdown of our opponent. And you have breakdowns, and you give up plays. And we got to do a good job. Obviously, when we give up plays, it's as much our coaching. And, you know, what we're doing is, is the players. Uh, we just got to make sure they're buying into it. But I did think they came out with a little more energy there in the second half and played a little harder uh, as a defensive unit. Was it kind of taking away Vanderbilt's top receiver? I just got the quickie stats here. I don't see any two catches. But there really was no plan. I mean, we don't game plan players. It's just hard to do. I mean, they put the guy all over the place. We don't say, no, where 16 is. I don't even know that we put Baker on the guy. I mean, we don't look at it like that. We play really good players every week. You got to stop the run. And then you have to pass on third down. And if the guy catches it eight times, then in the game, I'm happy if he catches it one time, but there was no there was no plan for 16. It was good to keep two quarterbacks like Drew Locke and Shermer throwing touchdown passes both games. They don't want them, you know, whatever. Yeah, well, the other guy didn't have to throw it. They just ran it in every time. Before, so it wasn't like a, <laughs> I, I'd rather make him throw it. Running it is easy. So I'm not I'm not into stats now. That's not my cup of tea. I'd much rather the guy be forced to throw it in than run it in. Do you think y'all have gotten better at the, the run game? And then defensively in the last three weeks? I don't know. I'm about to find out. Yeah. I'm about to find out real quick. Does, are you worried about the physicality of the whole sheet? Not worried about it's probably the wrong word. Yeah, I'm worried about it's probably not the right word. We're a physical football team, but we got to play physical. Right. And I haven't seen this team play with physicality, at least defensively, that I think it needs to. At times, we do offensively because we're, we're big, especially when we're healthy. Um, but defensively, you know, I don't know. We're going to find out. Um, we got a lot of guys that practice hard, and they buy in. They're not. They're not. They're not trying to. Maybe we got to help them. We got to do a better job as coaches. But uh, we certainly got to play a little better. I know you coached in that stadium down there in Baton Rouge. Did you play there? And, and what about the environment? Is something that we excite your guys in that played there before? Oh yeah. I mean, every environment in SEC is incredible, and this is one of the best in the country. It always is. Their fan base cares so much. They tailgate. I mean, they're they're the center of attraction. But they're the show. Play there as a player, coach there a lot of times, and uh, it's a great program, great atmosphere. I mean, they're loud, their fans are passionate, and they're physical. I think they got a good program. In terms of your tight ends, did it serve as an extra element offensively to get Isaac and uh, Charlie and Jackson some edges? Yeah, I think that makes all y'all happy. So, I mean, I'm good with it. <laughs> <laughs> If we catch it and get yards, I'm, I'm fired up. It doesn't matter to me whether it's a back, a tight end, a receiver. I don't care who it is. I'm, uh, I'm happy. But I know you guys will write all kinds of stats. I mean, I'm great with it. Just give me a first down. <laughs> Looks like DeAndre Swift maybe kind of getting his little bit of juice back. So he's getting a little bit better running the ball. Yeah, I thought he looked, looked uh, quicker. Catches the ball out of the backfield. Patient runner. Hard to tackle runner. Seems, seems like he's running full speed. Swift, he's so smooth. How do you feel about it? You know, touchdown there like late in the game. You don't ever want the other team to score, but you don't have your starters in there at that time. Is that how how important or unimportant was that last score by? I think Andy? it's I think it's great for our kids to go out and play. 
for those kids to go out and play because you know, they're the ones that they should be playing or want to be playing. They want to get better. They work all week for an opportunity to go to the game. So who better to get a learning lesson than have 11 guys out there that are, you know, primarily on your twos and threes and, and they get to live and learn. And uh, I think that's great for them. I think it's a great teaching lesson. It's a lot better than just sitting there kneeling and running the clock out. So you can't fault them for that. They're trying to get their team better. They got a quarterback. They're trying to get better. And they have their backup in there. I'm trying to score. So our job is to stop it.